All right, so what's the end game with the cryptocurrency thing? Now, I made a video about this like maybe four or five years ago, so I'm gonna repeat pretty much what I said here. Now, I'm not saying that what I'm saying is an absolute fact, but it's a theory. And it is a theory that since that four or five years has passed, much of what I was saying originally has actually started to take place. Now, four or five years ago, a lot of people were under the impression that central banks around the world were going to adopt cryptocurrencies as their monetary base. And I simply said that would not be the case. And my reasoning was that instead of them adopting a crypto, instead they would create um, digital currencies of their own. And since making that video, that plan is in action right now as we speak. Now, what's the end game with it all? Now, the end game for the whole cryptocurrency thing is a global currency, a global one world currency. But however, however, it's not going to be in the way that some people think it's going to be. Instead, it is more than likely going to be through the IMF or the International Monetary Fund in the form of what they call SDRs. And SDRs stand for Special Drawing Rights. And what a lot of people don't know is that SDRs have actually been around since the 60s or the 70s, and they've actually been a lawful part of our money supply around the world since that time. So, as I said back then, I believe the end game is to basically create a digital one world currency in the form of special drawing rights through the International Monetary Fund. Now, I can't say when this will happen, but I'm about 95% sure that it will happen. I just can't say when. But what I do see happening before the IMF takes on the digital SDR, what I do see happening is that central banks around the world would definitely create their own CBDCs or central bank digital currencies.